I think the turn for me was getting pregnant with our daughter. Um, it made me kind of question everything that I was doing because you're not only caring for yourself, but you're also caring for another human. Let's get into talking about the thing that is, I think, at the forefront of everybody's mind in the new year, and that is taking care of our bodies. And whether that means getting in shape physically or starting to eat right or, you know, what, whatever that looks like. I, you know, every gym in town has big, huge signs up, you know, in front of their gym, you know, join now for a dollar a month or, you know, no contract, whatever it is because they know this is the time of year that everybody's really thinking about these things. And homeschool moms, of course, are included in that. And, and I know for myself, it's like, oh, it's a new year. Oh yeah, I should probably start eating healthier. I should probably start exercising. I should probably start doing all the things that I tell myself in January of every year. And then eh, it tapers off. Um, but talk to us about your journey of really getting into more of a holistic lifestyle that you're in now. Well, we weren't always the way that we are now. It's been a, a progression over the years. I um, actually am a registered nurse by trade. Um, I went to school and graduated in 20, 2011 as a registered nurse and worked for um, a while before I came home full time. And so I have um, kind of have that background of like that Western medicine. And so you don't really hear a lot of nurses that live a more holistic lifestyle. And so I think the turn for me was getting pregnant with our daughter. Um, it made me kind of question everything that I was doing because you're not only caring for yourself, but you're also caring for another human. And so I think that's just an instinct to, to want to like do everything right. And so it was that paired with, um, Noah's journey of, struggling with autoimmune disease. He was very, very sick for a while. And we were kind of failed by the allopathic system where it was just, oh, we'll just take this drug and cover up the symptoms, but not really f figure out the root of why you're so sick. Um, and he has been the spearhead of our wellness journey, truly. Like, he jokes with me about this. He's like, I made you like everything that everything that you are is because <laughs> of like the things that I did. And it, but it's so true. Like I wouldn't be in this position that I am if he hadn't been the person that he is. And I, I give him full credit for that. I'm kind of like the face of purely Parsons, but he's truly like the, the gears and the things that kind of hold all of that together and, and really jump started that for us. So um, he, he really bucked the system of, it was really the Lord though, too, because like when all the terrible things are happening to you and you're in your twenties and you're like, why me? Like, like, why is this happening to me? Especially as a guy getting autoimmune disease, like everything I read is like, oh, it's more common among women and all this stuff. And, and it's hard when you're in just like having no answers and you're just feeling terrible all the time and you're getting sicker and sicker and you're starting to project forward thinking like, well, if this is the way that I'm getting now and I'm getting worse and worse, like, what is it going to be like in this many months? And as men, you know, generally it's like we have to provide for our families. And so you start getting scared for your family too. But looking back now, once, you know, he brings us to those valleys and back into the mountaintops and, you know, Along the journey, it's we really are so fortunate that it happened to us so young. Mm -hmm. You know, we really are fortunate that through that process, he was able to teach us so much about his creation, you know, the human body and how we are fearfully and wonderfully made, you know, in the, the image of God. And yes, we're, we're fallen creatures, but still, you know, we have amazing bodies and our bodies are all that we have. And we live our life experience in our bodies and it affects our ability to do so many things. And so that's really been, I think, important to us is just being as healthy as we can because we're just constantly bombarded by the world, you know, mm -hmm. from all sides, you know, it's through the food, through the messages that they're trying to send to our children and, and all the rest of it. And so we really want to be able to perform at as high of a level as we can in order to 
you know, be able to get out a message and be able to, you know, have enough energy to deal with five kids and be able to, you know, do all the things that we do. I, I think it's important that we feel good and, and are healthy. And so we really have made it, I guess, um, a, a pretty high priority in our lives because yeah. we see the importance of it. At, at some point it was like, this was survival for us. If yeah. I didn't do like a list of things, then I got really sick and I wouldn't be able to go to work and then I wouldn't be able to provide for my family. But now it's like, we've gone past the survival mode and into, you know, flourishing, I guess you could say. And I just owe it all to the Lord. I do joke around like, you know, you stole all my recipes. You know, I'm like, <laughs> I pretend like I'm the chef and she's my sous chef, but really it was all the Lord that did it. And I'm just thankful that we're able to get to the other side and be able to appreciate, you know, what he did. Well, and, and also kind of piggybacking off of that is we do a lot of the things that we do for our children and for their health. And I think mm -hmm. that so many parents nowadays have sick kids. I mean, our, this is the first generation where our children are not expected yeah. to outlive us. Yeah. Um, that's frightening. I, yeah. I want my children around. I want to live a long life and I want them to live a long life. And so I think the, a lot of the decisions that we make is for them and I want them to see the value in that as well. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday.